Welcome to another episode of React to Podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Meta. Today, we have a topic that hits close to home for many of us, never too late, overcoming the cycle of sin. So, grab a seat, relax, and let's dive into this important discussion. We've all been there facing the same mistakes over and over, wondering if there's a way out. Today, I want to talk about the hope, the redemption, and the transformative power of overcoming the cycle of sin. You know, we often find ourselves trapped in the same patterns, feeling that we're too deep into our mistakes. But let me assure you, it's never too late to break free. I've faced my own struggles, and I want you to know that there's always a path to redemption. One thing that has always kept me going is the belief in God's mercy. No matter how many times we stumble, the doors of forgiveness are always open. It's crucial to remember that God is merciful and his love is boundless. If you're watching this and feeling weighed down by your past, remember this, you have the strength within you to rise above it. Take a moment, reflect, and understand that the power of repentance is a gift we all possess. In the vast ocean of our Creator's mercy, there is no depth too profound, no sin too great that it cannot be forgiven. It's essential to understand that God's mercy surpasses our comprehension. His love is boundless, and His forgiveness knows no bounds. No matter how many times we falter, His mercy is there to lift us up and guide us towards redemption. Forgiveness is not just a divine attribute, it is a profound source of healing for our souls. When we sincerely repent and seek forgiveness, we initiate a transformative process within ourselves. It's a process that not only mends our relationship with the divine, but also brings peace and restoration to our inner being. Embrace the beauty of forgiveness, for it is a balm that soothes the wounds of the heart. Repentance is a powerful act of self-reflection and self-correction. It's not a sign of weakness, but a testament to our strength and resilience. When we acknowledge our mistakes and turn to God in repentance, we tap into a wellspring of strength that empowers us to overcome our shortcomings. Remember, every sincere act of repentance brings you one step closer to breaking free from the cycle of sin. God's mercy for us is unconditional. It doesn't diminish in the face of our little mistakes. Instead, it grows stronger on repentance. His mercy is a guiding light, leading us out of the darkness of our transgressions. As we seek forgiveness, let us revel in the assurance that God's love is a constant, unwavering force that will guide us towards a path of righteousness and spiritual fulfillment. To those grappling with the persistent weight of a particular sin that seems to relentlessly reappear in their lives, I extend a message of encouragement and hope. It's crucial to understand that the journey of faith is marked by resilience and the unwavering mercy of God. Do not yield to despair, for our Creator is infinitely forgiving. Even if you find yourself stumbling time and again, do not lose heart. Remember, there is no might nor power except with God, and within His boundless mercy lies the capacity to forgive even the gravest of mistakes. In your moments of weakness, continue to repent sincerely, acknowledging your shortcomings. The process of self-correction is a testament to your strength, and God sees the sincerity of your efforts. Do not entertain the notion that your transgressions are beyond forgiveness. Guard yourself against the whispers of doubt, for Satan may attempt to deceive you into believing that redemption is unattainable. Reject such notions, for God is all-giving and will provide you protection if you earnestly seek it. In your journey to break free from the recurring cycle of sin, lean on the merciful nature of God. Trust in His ability to forgive, and let not the weight of your mistakes deter you. Repent with sincerity, for God's mercy transcends the magnitude of our errors. As you navigate the challenges, remember that the path to redemption is always open, and God's mercy knows no limits. Keep asking God to shield you from the allure of that particular sin, and in your relentless pursuit of righteousness, you will find His protection and forgiveness. True repentance is not merely the utterance of a heartfelt apology to God, it extends beyond words to encompass a sincere commitment to change. It involves a conscious effort to distance oneself from the sinful behavior and embark on a journey of self-improvement. The essence of repentance lies in the resolve not to repeat the same mistakes. However, human nature is susceptible to flaws, and even in moments of weakness, it's crucial not to lose sight of progress. If, despite your best efforts, you find yourself falling back into the familiar pattern, do not be disheartened. Instead, 
Be grateful for the days you successfully resisted the temptation. Gratitude has a transformative power when you express thanks for the moments God granted you the strength to overcome that gratitude multiplies. Acknowledge that God understands your struggles and recognizes your sincere attempts to break free from the cycle of sin. The key is to persist in your efforts. If the sin reoccurs, repeat the process of repentance. Apologize sincerely, try again to distance yourself from it, and maintain hope in God's mercy. Do not let the repetition of mistakes diminish your faith or determination. Remember, it's okay to stumble, for God knows you are trying. Each sincere attempt to change is a step forward, and in the eyes of the divine, the intention and effort behind repentance hold great significance. Keep striving for improvement, and trust in the boundless mercy of a compassionate God. In the journey of overcoming persistent sins, prayer emerges as a vital compass, guiding us towards the straight path. It is through sincere and consistent prayer that we seek God's guidance, imploring Him to lead us on the righteous journey of those who have received His blessings and avoiding the paths of those who have gone astray. Prayer serves as a powerful connection between the individual and the divine, a constant plea for strength, wisdom, and the steadfastness required to navigate the complexities of life. In the process of self-improvement, let prayer be the anchor that keeps us aligned with the path of righteousness, seeking the blessings of God and avoiding the pitfalls of deviation. As we conclude our discussion, I want you to carry this message in your heart. No matter what you've done, no matter how many times you've stumbled, the mercy of God is a beacon of hope. You are worthy of forgiveness, and the path to redemption is always open. Trust in the merciful nature of our Creator, and may you find solace, healing, and strength on your journey towards overcoming the cycle of sin. Keep fervently praying, saying, O oh God, guide me to the straight path, the path of those to whom you have bestowed your blessings, and steer me away from the path of those who have gone astray. In these humble and sincere words, you invoke the divine guidance needed to navigate life's challenges and persist in your pursuit of righteousness. Prayer, as a constant dialogue with the divine, serves as a source of strength, wisdom, and clarity on the journey toward self-improvement and spiritual growth. I want this episode to be a beacon of hope for anyone struggling with the cycle of sin. You are not alone, and you are never too far gone for redemption. Turn to God, seek forgiveness, and trust in the journey of self-improvement. That's all for today's episode on React to Podcast. Remember, it's never too late to break free from the cycle of sin. Thank you for joining me, Mr. Meta, on this meaningful conversation. Stay tuned for more insightful discussions, and until next time, take care and keep the faith. Goodbye! Please like, share, and comment on video. Do not forget to subscribe channel and hit the bell icon for updates.